And our team coverage picks back up with Fox 12's John Hendricks. He's live now at Vista House with what he's seeing out there. And I can already tell that it's probably not easy just to stand still for just a little bit, is it, John? Well, as we're doing all right, we're expecting wind gusts up here at Crown Point at 50, 60 miles an hour. So far this evening, we've had wind gusts about 45 miles an hour, so not too bad for a Vista House evening. Uh, further east into the gorge, they're expecting some snow. We spoke with the folks out in Hood River who say they're ready to go. The sound of being ready seems to echo through the streets of Hood River. Sudded tires on just about every car and truck in town, but this winter... They've rarely needed them. A good snowstorm will take me pretty much most of the day. Lauren Ailes is a plow driver here. He says this winter has been slow. This winter, you know, like I say, we haven't really plowed anything, so we're not having any income. Ailes says he's de-iced a parking lot, and that's about it. No big snowstorm as of yet for this Columbia Gorge town. But word, a bit of snow and ice could arrive Tuesday morning, has him ready to go. To be able to, to supplement my income a little bit because of that, it's great, you know, I'll take it. Um, I understand not, that's not everybody's bag of tea, but, um, you know, like I say, we, we take what we get. With winter weather in the forecast, ODOT wants drivers headed over the Cascade Mountain Passes and into the gorge to be ready for the possibility of tricky driving. Carry chains and know how to use them. Make sure your car's emergency kit is ready to go and take it slow. Give you and other drivers plenty of space and allow for extra time to get where you're going. A message ails echoes. Be winter ready if you have plans to travel. Be prepared, um, and, and we, everybody always says that, and it, but it, that's because it's true. Now, if you're interested in some of those driving tips that ODOT has to offer, we've placed, it, uh, placed a full link to that in the online version of this story at kptv.com. Reporting live tonight, John Hendricks, Fox 12, Oregon.